PDRA Drag Wars at Galat Motorsports Park is right here next on Monday Morning Racer.
Race. Monday morning racer here in the pits caught up with Rob Honeycutt. Man, you took down the pumpkin. Talk to me about getting by Jay on round one. Yeah, uh, Black Hammer smashed a little pumpkin today. Um, Jay's a good guy. You know, he messed up. He seems to have found his mojo uh, back in the 60s, and we're still trying to get there. So it was uh, we kind of owed him. He's beat up on us the last couple years. So to get a win against him is big. So, man, look, you have been played as the underdog in every round, but that's the second round one win you've got. Should that turn slightly as you've picked up performance? Uh, yeah, I think uh, Wilkins Racing Engines is going to be a big player here in Pro Nitrous, and I think we're showing it. Um, each race, we've gotten a little bit better, a little bit quicker. Um, you know, biggest thing now is just we've got to find how to get into the 60s with the rest of them. And uh, once that happens, I think we're going to be a you know, one of the top guys in this class. Mr. Honeycutt, look, you're not in a Chevrolet, no. which is strange these days, so why run the Ford Mustang? I've always been a Ford Mustang guy. I've had them, since, you know, since I graduated from high school, bought a Mustang GT, and I've had them all, all my life, and I wanted something that was different. I didn't want just another Camaro, you know, so that was really, uh, when I saw this car come up, I had talked to Jerry Bickle about buying it it was All actually right. slated for uh mike castellana and when he went to the blower in. deal the car went to shannon jenkins Nine, 10, two, he had it for a season and then right jerry called me up and said hey that car you want's for sale and we struck a deal and got it done got it done and doing it in a ford folks that's rob honeycutt i'm the monday morning racer for strutmasters.com he's passed round one thank you very much
at the PDRA Galat Wars caught up with James Beedling. Man, number one qualifier in a blower car nonetheless. How does it feel? Uh, awesome. Felt really good. Worked hard to get there over the last two races and finally made it happen. Finally made it happen and man, you were driving that thing to make it happen. Look, that earns you the number one qualifier spot and a round one victory by way of the ladder working out. How far do you think you can go today? Hopefully we go all the way to the end. The guys worked real hard, so we're going to try and get it to the finish line. Try to get it to the finish line. Well, folks, look, we're going to take you to the next footage of people going to the finish line right here on Monday Morning Racer. Thank you, James. Monday morning racer here, caught up with Johnny Placino once again. Placino, you've got past first round, but that is a critical round win for your championship hopes with JR Carr going out. So mathematically, looks like you just about got it done, man. Yeah, um, I guess I'll wait till they uh, they give me an official word at some point. I know it's going to depend on the, the size of the field in Virginia, but um, that's not really up for me to decide. What my job is at this point is to keep going rounds. Uh, we got a semi-final round here against Steve Boone. Um, I need to step my game up a little bit in, in, in my driving this round, uh, and I, I need to I need to be where I was all year. And uh, if if I if I drive the car this round, we'll, we'll get the round win. I'm very confident in that. The Strutmasters.com for a Mustang. Uh, got really good John Cozzi horsepower right now. We just got to put it all to use. So Johnny, look in qualifying, had a little bit of a hiccup, and really haven't had that all year. Had to get out of the the throttle and clutch it. Uh, what happened, man? Yeah, we were just uh, we were fighting a little bit of a couple tire issues. Um, 
you know, we were experimenting with some, with some stuff with from Hoosier. Uh, just did, car wanting some different things. Uh, we wanted to go with the, with the tried and true setup once we got into, into qualifying and into elimination. So we put our, our trusty Hoosiers back on that we kind of ran most of the season here. So uh, we have a lot of confidence in these Hoosiers um, and it showed. Uh, we haven't aborted many runs with them knock on wood. So uh, I feel real good right now. And um, hey, you got to try some things out here to, to, uh, to move the needle. So that's what we did. Just like putting on a broken pair of sneakers, you put back in, put back on the old tires. Johnny, look, we were talking about it just before going into this interview. The Liberty Gears trophy for the first man into the threes. How bad do you want it? I want it pretty bad, man. I'm, uh, I want all the trophies, but I don't, I don't want to share. I'm not a good at sharing. Uh, I guess I never was, so. Uh, we, 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 we want to win every round out there. We want to win the championship, and man, that's one cool trophy. Um, there's a championship this year, there'll be a championship next year and the year after that, but there'll only be one guy who goes threes first in competition. So uh, that's, that's a little bit different, and uh, I'd love to have that at my house. Folks, that's Johnny Pacino. He's passed round one here at PDRA Glot Drag Wars.
base which he yeah. Hey, drag racing fan, Monday Morning Racer here. You ever wonder where I get my great PDRA swag? Well, Scott has got the answer. Go to PDRA660.com and click on the store and you can purchase whatever you're looking for. Folks, classic graphics, they'll hook you up. Check them out. Let's get back to drag racing.